Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead for go her. What do you think? I just need to know the age. You're always looking for something. I've never been a big you think because I like to talk so much because I'm a parrot. Um, you know, you think that my engagement is a big Um <laughs> You know, I've never been a big engager. I've always been, you know, it seems like a lot of people that we meet that are employers are eagles. And eagles don't want a parrot to go off being a parrot. You know, they want cut to the chase, what can you do for me, how can you help, what are my pain points. Um, so from that standpoint, you know, I don't I don't have a lot of luck, but you know, I always just like people to understand that we're just especially working with this guy, I mean we just have we're, you know, we're there for the betterment of everybody. We're not there just for us. So just like to engage on a small scale, talk about whatever, whatever possible. I like to talk about coaching girls. Baseball! That came out wrong. Yeah, they're 18. So it seems like wherever I go, whenever I'm talking about this, people are on that rabbit hole. They're either the people that other people are coaches, or their, their kids play sports, or whatever the case is. So I was, it's a really good conversation that way. Okay. And you know, I think okay, that's all good too. Sometimes, Sometimes it's better. better. Sometimes it's better. <laughs> right. But I would also counter argue to your point, if you're sitting at top cross room with a string eagle and you say, Hey, I coach girls softball, she's probably sitting there going, Okay, so this is meeting for you. You're right. Story, your life exactly. story. Well that's why I was putting it here. You want to go off and, and just go off and train softball here. And now the sky cast broke, didn't get anything back, moved down. Yeah. But my question is, you pros, you don't get anything back. Have you built rapport and credibility yet? I, don't, I would say, right? So that's where I would be cautious on my engage. I would I would point out you being a softball coach if what? <laughs> they sponsor a little league team, or you can see pictures of her kids on her desk, or you know that is already. Do you guys agree that we can know our engaging statement, our opening statement, 48 hours before we walk through the door? If we don't, if you don't know how to open the conversation, what makes you think you can close it? Yeah. Think about that. The most practiced and rehearsed part of a trial is the opening statement. Because they know that's their moment to engage or lose the jury. That. Everything else in between, they really practice two main things of a trial. The opening statement and the closing statement. Because they know they win or lose cases on those two bookends. So be cautious on how important that opening statement is <coughs> with the person you're sitting across from. And I agree with you. Eagles, even if they have kids, sometimes they don't want to talk about it. Which is why when I'm in an employee conversation, bringing up kids, softball, that type of stuff is good. But when it comes to the business owner, she wants to talk about her business. And remember, she's expecting to walk into what? A sales pitch. So I want to get her talking about her business because she thinks all I'm going to talk about is what? Yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I start with, hey, I'm a coach, she's probably thinking that's what I thought. It's going to be all about him. So just that one little thing is really the tweak I was looking for. I think you still did a good job. You did something other than, what do you know about Affleck? Which is a horrible engaged statement, because that is all focused on us. I did catch a brand statement, which is the reason why I gave you guys a two. So I gave you a two for engage. I thought I talked about us bringing values to the employees uh, in this increasing healthcare environment. I thought the brand was in. Okay. What was missing then? If that was your brand statement, what was missing? Tell me what you're doing, but you didn't tell me why it's important. You didn't tell me that in today's market, confused employees are unproductive employees, and what we're doing is we're making employees educated so they work harder for you. The other part about your brain that you have to be careful about is it's very employee focused. We're helping employees, and the eagle's sitting there going, Who cares? They can go get help on their own. I thought this was about me. Always <coughs> tying it back. I don't mind you bringing up helping the employees as long as you end with an employees that are helped are loyal and productive for you, which is how profitability is created. That's the missing equation in Affleck for all these years is not that we're going to help the employees. It's what is the return on that to the business itself. We almost figured it out with the workman's comp rating that you guys are bringing up, right? We found that if accident and disability insurance have a lower workman's comp rating, and now all of a sudden business owners are going, okay, now that 
life. Not the thousand dollars you pay to help them with their mortgage payment, but the fact that they actually come to work and don't claim the comp, claim the injury on work on Monday. Right. That gets me pretty excited. Your Discover, how'd you guys feel about Discover? Well, uh, I, mean, I think the Discover went pretty well in meeting our typical Discover from yesteryear. I'm not sure that I was really ever really able to bring in a whole lot of the four C's to it. I think I touched on a few of them. Uh, I probably would have, in a typical situation, done a little bit more and teased a little bit about a product or a service before I closed the bottom point of the discover. Uh, just to, I kind of felt like I could have without ever really knowing how maybe in any way to help. So let me ask you, because you closed for a two-step close. I did. You closed for a second appointment. <laughs> you know why people hate two-step closes? And I'm not going to tell you my opinion on one-step versus two-step. I do have a very strong one, but 50-50, um, people do or don't like them, so I'm going to leave that unbiased. What, what was wrong with your two-step close? Or what's wrong with two-step closes? Why do people not like them? I think they can close it in a hurry. I think the larger the group is, you have to come back and bring a solution. Have you ever tried a two-step close and the second, close, second step gets pushed off, pushed yeah. off, pushed yeah. off, and yeah. see what happens? Yeah. You never really get to present your case. Yeah. Why? Because you didn't you sell it the first time. time. It's it's not that you didn't sell it. You didn't, you didn't make that important, important the first time. You didn't make it important. So they walked away going, well, that was 10 minutes on my lap, I'll we'll never get back. So what was missing from your well, maybe, maybe it was just enough. If you were close for a second step, this second step would have never happened. Why? I'm not saying you couldn't have closed for a second step here. Right. There was one thing you missed at the end. Do you know what it was? I'll give you a hint. It's the last thing I'm judging you on in Discover. It's literally written down right now. What is it? Can we read it? Nope. In Discover, the last thing you're being judged on. Look down. Identify and validate pain points with the customer. So, so it would have been something like, well, given, given that your employee, your, oh, given that you uh, uh, have you indicated your, your your driver being 1099, you're always looking to find ways to uh, to do things better for them or bring something to them. Uh, and, um, uh, and with that, I feel we could bring a few solutions to that group of people yep. along with their yep. You don't have to give a solution here. It's not case. about, we're not in guide. I'm not solving a problem. What I have to do is make sure I found a problem. You find a problem, and here's the key. It has to be a problem that's here on my list. Employee turnover may be six or seven on my list. I'm great that you're solving that, but I'm focused on healthcare reform. Or I'm focused on, or I'm focused on you're selling to a want, not a need. But the key to validating, you guys said, I don't think we have covered pain. If you haven't uncovered a pain point, then you do not leave Discover. You don't leave Discover until you validate a pain point somebody looks at you and goes, yep, that's our problem. So you guys were super close. I was just waiting for, and this is the key, right? Based on what you just told me. Based on what you just told me, it seems like, first of all, you're not a And second of all, going into 2017, the main thing we need to combat with your business is, and when she goes, nailed it. Then you go, can I come back tomorrow? She'll probably say, can you come back in an hour? Because if she was just at her desk working on what you just validated, she doesn't want you to leave. Then you don't have to worry about one step versus two step. The only reason you need a two step is if they need a solution that you literally can't provide right now. You've got to go get a quote, or you've got to go build a case, or you've got to go put a proposal together. But she's going to be the one saying, well, I need you back here at 8 a.m. or 4 p.m. <coughs> That's the best case scenario, right? And they're saying to you, no, I don't want to wait are you kidding me? We're trying to get this done by January 3rd. So, um, a good way to figure that out quickly <coughs> is like when I said cost and you know, we just pay it. Well, if there were solutions to that, is that something that, that you would be interested in hearing more about? What is that? What type of question? Four C questions. Which one is it? Now on 
that sheet that says closing, is that a misprint? Okay, it's supposed to be commitment question, not closing question. So when it says closing, know that this little copy that's been reprinted, that the fourth C is a commitment question.